Good morning, Devil Dippers, from Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. We are here today to check in to our once-in-a-lifetime stay. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Yeah. But yes, we are actually staying at the Polynesian. Okay. All right. We are in the Hawaii building. And uh, this is the uh, concierge desk is right over here. We just spoke to them. They just escorted us over to the building. Uh, I'm glad they did because I would not have found this. <laughs> but they said our room will be in this building. Um, but we're going to go upstairs and uh, check out the club. The it's intriguing that there's the no really magic band scanner. Oh, because there is to get in the building. building. This whole building is the club. But the, this elevator is not uh, Moana themed, which is interesting because the uh, concierge desk was. Here we go. <laughs> Also, yes, we did get our lays when we checked in. Uh, here's the hours for morning service, afternoon service, and evening service, and night service. Yep, cool. And here we are in the club. Oh, yeah. There's additional seating for fireworks up there. But we have. Bran muffins, cinnamon rolls, croissants, white chocolate macadamia nut muffin. We've got Coke beverages, teas, water, espresso, oatmeal, potato wedges, sausages, bacon and swish quiche, hard boiled eggs, oranges, uh, pineapple. Looks like some yogurts. We've got a bunch of different uh, pumps of different flavoring. I'm sure Anna will be using those. Sugar cubes. We have some cereals, some bread, some bagels, and hog juice. And I think this is pineapple juice. It's not labeled. All right, so we're on the second floor now. There's some different Moana um, paintings on the wall. There's a t kid's TV. There's a bathroom. And there's our, see I'm imagining that uh, you can't see the fireworks from here either. So we really need to be downstairs around firework time. So one of my biggest concerns coming into this was whether or not the food portions were going to be just like snacks or like actual meals, but like I consider this a pretty good breakfast. And then like I've got pog juice, got pog juice on tap. I got some potato wedges, some sausages, and that's that bacon and Swiss uh, quiche. Cora's enjoying a variety of cereals and a cinnamon roll. Yeah, the macadamia nut muffin. All right, time to, time to try our quiche here. It's not my favorite. Pretty strong spinach flavor. Not a whole lot of bite to the bacon. It just kind of feels like bacon flavoring. But there is actual, I can see the bacon in it. It was so soft that it's not like chewable, if that makes sense. Um, the potatoes are also soft, I will say. So they're not like a, they're not like a steak fry. They have these large, like two story uh, paintings. Canvases hanging from the wall there. Oh, look at that view. You can see the castle over there. This is our fireworks viewing area. All right, we're now leaving the pool. Um, we just got our room number, but also they just started the uh, lunch service or the whatever they call it, snack service, whatever, um, over in the club. So we can go see what that's like. All right, Double Dippers, we are now at the Polynesian. Uh, does this have a name for this pool? I'm sure there's a name for it. The Volcano Pool. That's what I'm gonna call it. It's just the pool rules, it doesn't say name of a pool, but. Yeah, it's, the uh, water is nice and cold, which is good because it's starting to heat up, but it's uh, bad because it's cold. <laughs> it's, it's cold for when you're first getting in. Let's just put it that way. What, baby? As water tends to be. They told me that I could ride the slide. They told told me to, so here we go. Woo! 
Alright. Oh, okay. Now go. Whoa. That's like a little more your speed, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, we came back in the main pool. Just so you know, it's about about noon. It's like 11.30. What time is it? It's um, 11.21. 11.21. Uh, there's some uh, not so nice clouds rolling in here, but um, it's supposed to hold out until late afternoon. Uh, but just so you know, this is what the pool crowd's looking like at about noon. All right, two, five, three, one. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> dun dun. Wow. Man, that's a nice shower. I love the purple pillows. Uh oh. Uh oh, we got the uh, the Alexa thing. I don't know how to use that. This could sleep six people. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I like these pillows a lot. Yeah. I might have to ask them if we can buy one. <laughs> oh, look at the cool shade. Oh, man. So cool. Kokomora. Kokomora. Oh, and we have a pool view. Well, that's not bad. No. I mean, it's not firework, but like, it's, it's nice pretty. Show. Oh, there's the. There's we were the looking Oasis. for the Oasis um, eating. It doesn't look like it's open. Maybe it opens a little I bit later. Maybe at like 12. Yeah. Daddy! Yes, sir. But we'll probably eat dinner there. Yeah. We're about to. to oh, man, look at that. It's just like the tattoo on him. Oh, yeah. Maui. Oh, Moana. Oh, what's this? Ooh, fancy tube. That's a real fancy tube Taped. right there. Uh, yeah, slide it off. Oh, we got a whole like grating here. Oh, yeah. Nut and snack mix with pretzels and crackers. Mommy. What is it going on? It says Aloha Cousins, uh, E. Koma Mai, and Welcome to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort and the King Kama Something Club. Club Concierge cast members are at your service daily from 7 to 10. To assist you with planning all your Walt Disney World ex experiences, the club lounge located on the second floor is for the exclusive use of the Disney Polynesian Village Resort Club Concierge Guests. We invite you to join us daily for a variety of Asian-inspired cuisine and beverage offerings. While enjoying the lounge, appropriate attire is required, such as footwear and cover-ups for swimwear. We also request that an adult accompany guests under the age of 10. If you plan to partake in our beer, wine, or uh, cordials, Please be prepared to present appropriate photo identification. For your safety, please be aware that glass containers are not permitted in the pool area. Disposable cups are available for you upon request. We invite you to enjoy, enjoy the nightly presentation of Happy Ever After Fireworks yeah. from the comfort of our lounge. We hope you enjoy your stay with us at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Mahalo. The cast of the King Club. Cam. Come. It's Kamehameha. Right? Yeah. Sure. And then breakfast is from 7 to 30, refreshments from 11 to 4, appetizers, beverages, and cheese selections from 5 to 7, and then desserts um, from 8 to 10. Cheese selections. Ooh. I did notice this amazing painting uh, art, art, art piece. I don't think it's technically considered a painting unless it's painted, and I'm sure it's... Oh, it's automatic lights. Look! <coughs> Pua. Uh, no, that's not Pua. That's Hey, hey. Yep. Why'd you say that? I, you know, I try. Oh man, I like that. I like, it, you just like look at it, it's just like nice Polynesian art, and then like, just a little bit of Moana, you know? There's even like, Hawaiian prints in the, look, in the tile, the shower. There's like little Hawaiian Oh wow, that's prints. cool. Yeah, that's cool. There's gotta be some hidden Mickeys in there. I see some turtles. Turtles in the print. We got our H2O Plus products. Most what supplies last. Hey, honey. Hey, Silly. <laughs> Is that your couch? Is that your couch? It's a big room. Yeah. <laughs> Got two tables. It's a gorgeous view. It's not bad at all. Yeah. I'm perfectly fine having this pool view. Huh. So it looks like the third and the first level have balconies, but not the middle level. Intriguing. It's okay. Alright, Kona request chips. Yep, so we're gonna- oh look! The heart of Tefiti. Oh, love that. It's like a little bit right up there. 
very neat. Let's just let's just take this room and put it in a house form. Look, and then you have the hard graffiti on the uh, what are these called? Curtains. That's what they're called. All right, we're gonna go check out our uh, food options over at the club. So we'll see you over there. Hey, club. Oh, speaking of, we're like right down the hall from it. We're on the same level as the club, so shouldn't be too hard at all to you know meander over there, get our food, come back to the room with it, maybe that kind of deal. So perfect spot. Here we go. Got cookies, cinnamon roll stayed, white chocolate chip macadamia nut. Oh, look at that, Uncrustables. Got our Coke products, Got our dessert bar, some snacks. Hi. Got chips, lots of different chips. Some lemonade, pog juice, and unsweet tea. Pretty good selection. All right, so here's one of the complimentary alcoholic beverages. This is a longboard island lager. As you all famously know, I don't like alcohol, so this should go great. Certainly terrible. It's a very mild flavor. It's not very strong. No. That's probably the most I'll drink of it. But you know, we're trying. That's why I have lemonade as my backup. Kona is having a blast. He has had <laughs> a bite of a cookie, which you can't tell from his face because it looks like he's covering cookie. He's had Oreos. Cheese barbecue chips. Oh, you need another one? Which one do you want? Uh, <laughs> of course. It doesn't help that Grant got one of everything. Yeah, because this is stuff I wanted, so I just got all but everything. Alright, so we came back to the room and I decided to take a look for a little guide here. Hey Disney, what's the weather? The current weather is 88 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. Today's forecast has some sun and thunderstorms with a high of 91 degrees and a low of 73 degrees. I just love it when it's sunny in Arendelle. Normally, I wouldn't say this out loud, but I'm totally going to admit that I love to frolic. <laughs> hey, Disney, tell me a joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Timon. Timon who? Timon and let me in already. Adorable chickens. Super chickens. Correct. The We're playing mouse trivia. Detective finds on a the young girl's father after he is kidnapped by a bat. Alexa device. Or is it Next is it question. Google or Alexa? Mm hmm. Complete the phrase Walt Disney used when people praised his achievements. It was all star. How? A. With luck. B. I want an idea. C. I have mouse. C. C. Buy a mouse. It said only one person can answer at a time. It appears we have just arrived just in time for the uh, dinner service. Doesn't look like they have everything out yet, but they did stock the uh, fridge with beers. There's some like. Uh, what are they called? Compressé salads. Interesting. Wines over there. Anyway, we're heading to Lahana. Because we're staying at the Bali, so why not? Also, for those of you wondering, why don't you get to sit to your room? Because they don't offer room service currently. Ask about that. Also, it didn't look like it was as good of a deal as it is eating in the restaurant. So we walked into the store while we waited um, on Ohana to call us back because we're on the wait list. Um, they have 626 day plush already. $35 for a floral stitch. Fl floral? Floral. I don't know. I don't know why I pronounce it that way. Lots of uh, Moana stuff in here. And then this uh, new Ur Spirit jersey. It looks like it's uh, Alani, and they just rebranded it. 
How much is a Disney Nine. drawstring bag? Forty dollars. Forty. It's pretty Free. big though, and it's like uh, like the waterproof ones. All right, so we're back in the room. Obviously, we didn't video dinner. Uh, we we're trying to enjoy dinner. Take it in. I will say, Ohana. Not what it used to be, unfortunately. It used to be one of my favorite places to eat on property. Probably won't be going back there. And I know we said that the last time we ate there, but I was like, well, maybe it was just a fresh out of COVID. Like the last time we ate there was like September 20 or August or September 21. Anyway, uh, I was given a bit of a doubt. And I was like, I used to love their food. So hopefully they brought it back. We asked the guy, sorry, asked the guy at the concierge desk if they still had, because for a while they did shrimp casserole, which I don't know who made that decision, but that was a terrible decision. Um, but they're, uh, what's it called? Peel and eat shrimp now, which I'm almost certain that when I used to eat there, it was uh, grilled shrimp. Because I remember really liking the shrimp there. The shrimp were not great. Um, the steak wasn't great either. Um, but anyway, just fair warning. Maybe stay away from Ohana, um, try somewhere else. Kona Cafe has still been pretty good. Um, they don't have a wide variety on their menu, at least not that appeals to me. Now, um, if you're into like poke bowls and that kind of thing, then go right for it. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd eat there again over where we just ate at Ohana. Um, but with all that being said, we're, um, they just ended our like dinner service, I don't know, afternoon service, I think they call it for concierge, um, right as we were getting back to our room. So we didn't get any of that. Um, I showed you briefly right before we left for dinner, um, and so we missed that whole window. But there'll be a dessert serv like dessert service, yeah, that's right, dessert service. Um, a little bit later, I think it's an hour, um, and that will coincide with us going to see fireworks in our private little lounge. Um, so hopefully, that'll be nice and um, get a good view. I plan on getting there at least by nine. Um, if not a little bit earlier, um, I don't know how hard those seats are to come by. Um, I know there's not very many of them, um, but there is three levels to view from, including the downstairs lobby. But they did say you won't see fireworks, uh, but you will hear the music and projections uh, and seat projections. Um, and the third floor is about the same because it kind of cuts off pretty short. I think I showed it earlier. Um, so we want to be ideally ground level ready for those fireworks. So we will see you guys. Then, if not a little bit earlier, because uh, we're waiting on the pools to reopen, because there's currently a thunderstorms in the area. So once those reopen, we'll probably hit the pools. Uh, but we might be doing that a little bit later after fireworks tonight, but we'll see. All right, we are making the trek over to the Grand Flow from the Poly, which if you don't know, they're building a giant building over here. So there's lots of construction, so we gotta go around it. So we're gonna end up going like towards Shades of Green into the street a bit. Also, if the camera works a little shakier than usual, it's because I uh, forewent the for forgoed, forgoed, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. I forgoed the uh, tripod so I could put the camera in my pocket so we could just have a nice little brisk walk. There's nothing really brisk about it. We're just going at a normal walking pace, not any faster than anybody else. I love that the tarp stuff up. Scrimmage has plants on it. Oh, yeah, look, <laughs> there's a little bunny. Good Disney bunny. Ah! Let me get you in the video. Disney bunny. There you go. All right, so we're back at Polynesian. I did not look at how long it took us to walk over to uh, Grand Flow, but the monorail ride back wasn't too bad. It was about 15, 20 minutes. Not bad at all. Uh, we're back, and uh, we're heading back over to the club so we can uh, go try. Try. Go get our spots for fireworks. So. Get a kid up there to start the movie. That's fun. Oh snap. Everybody waiting to watch the fireworks from the pool, I'm assuming. Alright, so it's currently 8.31. We are back at the club. And is that first table available? No. The second one is. Let's evaluate our evening selection. Same cookies as our snack time. Oatmeal, chocolate chip, 
usual. They have the beers in the fridge now. You don't have to ask for them, so that's nice. I got a bottle opener, all the usual stuff. Some alcohol selections, different liqueurs, cake pops. They have a stitch uh, cupcake there. Ice cream, oh yeah. Toppings for your ice cream. Wine selection. Very cool. This is a punch. I try that. All right. So they told me the chef's choice here was a pineapple truffle cake pop and ice cream with some of those toppings. All right. Now I gotta try the pineapple truffle here. It definitely tastes like pineapple. It's not as good as I thought. I can't tell. It tastes like you have a chocolate spoon full of pineapple juice. All right, trying to trying alcohol take 125. Bad. It kind of tastes like water, but it burned after. It's the most promising one yet, besides the spiky pineapple, which will always be my gold standard for alcoholic beverages. They said that they would dim the lights once it started, but there's an electrical water pageant going by, and there's my reflection. Alright, I'm trying my first Bud Light. about the same as any other beer I've tried. Just duller taste. The lighting's not very great here. I need to turn off the overhead here. At least dim it. The sound quality is not great either. So fireworks view review. Sorry, I was, I was holding some uh, cake tops from snack. Um, not the best view, not the worst view. I know it was originally pretty negative. Um, the once everybody like calmed down, quiet down, the audio got louder. I mean, obviously because there's not as much noise. Um, the kids that stood right in front of us eventually sat down. So that made it a little better. Um, there's still pretty decent amount of glare. Um, it's not as bad as it shows in the video, but still pretty decent amount. Um, it wasn't unwatchable. Like, uh, um, it's better than Cosmic Rays. I'll say that. Um, but if you're looking for like the perfect firework viewing area, I would not say that that was it. I would say either go to like Contemporary out on their balcony there. That's a pretty good one. Um, as far as resorts go, um, I don't think the beach would be better, um, because you have the same problems. You can't really see the, you can't really see the castle, and, like, I know I shouldn't expect that being this far away, um, but more, for me, it's more about the projections than it is about the fireworks, so that's generally what I look for, um, but all that being said, it was pretty, pretty decent, um, and now I think we're going to go to the hot tub. Um, but I'm not going to take the camera with me, so we'll see you guys probably in the morning. All right, Double Dippers, it is now checkout day. Um, unfortunately, our plans have changed a little bit. Anna got sick last night, um, so she already went home. Um, I came back to pack up everything. I've got Kona with me. We're going to go hit the breakfast buffet one more time. Uh, if you can, if you want to call it a buffet, I don't know if it's the most accurate description. Um, and then we'll be heading out. Uh, we might be able to come back later in the afternoon, um, depending on how Anna's feeling. Uh, but as of right now, this will be it for today. So let's head out there. All right, so they do change the menu up a little bit. Most everything's the same, but they do have a cheese omelet today. And whatever this is, it just says chef's choice. So um, most everything's the same as yesterday. Okay, so just kidding. They had French toast sticks and Spam, so I grabbed those as well. So they did change up the menu quite a bit, actually.
Alright, so this is my first time trying Spam. Just like ham. Alright, Double Dippers, well that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, sorry I got cut a little short, but like I said, I ended up being, getting sick last night. Um, and so we had to cut a little, things a little bit short, but we got to do almost everything we, we wanted to do. Um, I would definitely say staying club level was definitely worth it. Um, between the food and the customer service, it was fantastic. Um, I definitely want to stay club level again in the future. Um, and what else? I will say, I think my only real like gripe, and it's a very minor thing with the club level stay was, um, a, the fireworks viewing wasn't the best, but um, like I said, it wasn't terrible. It just was a firework view as opposed to like a showing of Happily Ever After, if that makes sense. Um, and the other thing I would say is, uh, Kona's over here vlogging on the uh, GoPro. Um, the food service was really good, um, but breakfast was only like meal provided. And I know I probably shouldn't expect a, a full fledged meal, but maybe like, you know, uh, we ended up buying fries last night. If they would have had, like fries or something savory, it was a whole lot of sweet, um, especially with the uh, snack service at the end of the night, the dessert party. We could have used a little bit of savory. Um, it would have been nice if we would have gotten uh, some like burgers or something maybe. Um, I know that's not the most Hawaiian thing. That was another thing I wanted to mention. Um, if you don't like coconut flavored things, uh, maybe the club level at Polynesian is not for you because almost everything that we had was uh, coconut flavored or pineapple flavored. So if you're not a fan of either of those, maybe try out uh, Contemporary was our other option we were looking into. And I know that they have uh, sushi at one of the two clubs because I know they have two clubs over there as opposed to one um, at the Polynesian. So with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed. I know we did. And we'll see you in the next video.